Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome back to the Fangoria Movie Challenge. This is the segment I've been doing with my good buddy, Joe the Horror Man, where we're not only going to watch, but also review all 101 movies Fangoria thinks we should have seen. Today, we're going to be talking about Wendigo. Wendigo is a 2001 film, which runs approximately 91 minutes, and is written and directed by Larry Fessenden. Now, he was responsible for Beneath, Habit, and The Depraved. Now, this stars Patricia Clarkson as Kim. She was in The Station Agent, The Green Mile, and Far From Heaven. Jake Weber as George. He was in the Dawn of the Dead remake, Meet Joe Black, and U571. And Eric Per Sullivan as Miles. He was in Unfaithful, The Cider House Rolls, and Christmas with the Cranks. He was also uh, the littlest brother in Malcolm in the Middle. Now this had a worldwide gross of hundred thousand dollars yeah and I didn't find out what the budget was I'm not really sure actually uh, this is a movie that both Joe and I had seen before once um, I got it or I watched it as soon as I got it because I'd heard a lot of really good things about Larry Fessenden as far as a director um, he's kind of revered and let's just say when I watched this the first time, I was a little less than impressed. Um, so I figured, hey, second time, maybe I'll like it more. <clears throat> okay, let me uh, get into a uh, brief synopsis. You have a family where the mother is Patricia Clarkson, the father is Jake Weber, and the kid is the littlest brother from Malcolm in the Middle. Now, they're on their way to a winter house in order to get away from the city for a while. When they hit a deer, more importantly, a buck, in the middle of the road. Now, this buck was had been shot a few times and was fleeing from the hunters. So, when they hit the buck, they run off the road, and they have an encounter with the hunters, who are basically a bunch of hillbillies, who had shot the buck and were angry because he hit it with his car. So, of course they're not getting along too well. They end up getting out because they were stuck in the snow. This has a wintry, snowy atmosphere um, that's kind of dark and drab. Um, yeah. So you come to find out that the main guy that they had a problem with, the main hunter... This was actually his house growing up that there are that they are renting that their friends bought and are letting them use and he kind of got screwed out of the house by his sister when she sold it now somewhere in this story <laughs> the kid ends up in this ma and pa uh, drugstore where he's given a kind of like a little statue of a wendigo by a Native American, who tells him the folklore of the Wendigo. And it really has little to no meaning in the film. Okay, now, as, as far as I'm going to go, there is more to this film, but not much more, and it's just a, it's a trial to sit through, it really is. Um, because not much happens. Most of what happens, happens in the last 10 to 15 minutes. It is... I would say it was a slow burn, but I like slow burns. This is a, like an ad for NyQuil. Um, I really almost fell asleep the first time I watched it. And then actually almost fell asleep twice when I watched it with Joe. It's just boring. And it doesn't, it tries to be deep. And it's like, Basically, 91 minutes of mental masturbation. It's kind of like, what is the point? 
Now, this is the way it feels to me. If I was at a party or a wedding and you get stuck with that person who is very, who thinks they're more intelligent than they are, who is pretty deep and tries to have a conversation about psychiatry. Now, a five minute conversation, fine. But after about 30 minutes of talking to this person, you're most likely to fake an illness in order to get away from them. That's kind of the way I felt about this film. Okay, um, I'm going to get to the recommendation. I am going to recommend something else by Larry Fessenden. Um, and I'll explain why. Um, he is very, he's a very revered director. I like him as an actor. I don't like him as a director. Now, I watched this movie. I've probably had this in my collection for maybe three or four years. And I watched it finally, and it was okay. The one thing you're going to get from Larry Fessenden is a similar style. And the style, to me, is just... It's boredom. It really is. I kind of don't know how else to put it. Like, I would give Wendigo maybe a 5 out of 10. It is a competently made film. Of course, it bores me to tears. It has a great cast, which baffles me. The acting is really good, but it doesn't go anywhere. It just doesn't matter. Now, I watched The Last Winter. This I would give a 6.5 out of 10. I do believe it was a better film than Wendigo, but it still wasn't that great. It was still a slow burn, which I don't mind slow burns as long as they have a payoff. The payoff in this was utterly non-existent. But I did want to recommend something else by Larry Fessenden that is a better film, at least than this. Truthfully, if it were me, I would probably watch wind chill rather than either one of these because they both have a wintry dreary feeling but i actually really enjoyed wind chill but like i said i wanted to recommend something from larry fessenden that was at least a little bit better than wendigo not a whole lot but a little bit so um like i said he's very revered people love him uh scream factory put out a box set of his stuff and to be honest, when it first came out years ago, I thought about getting it. But I have Wendigo. I don't really like it. I have The Last Winter. Eh, it's okay. The other, the other two films are Habit, which is available if I ever decide to buy it, which I probably won't. And No Telling, which is out of print. So, I'm not going to spend like 60 or $70 on a box set for one out of print movie, hoping, hoping that it'll be okay. I don't know. Um, it's it's not really a rant. I mean, if you like his style, then more power to you. It tries to be very psychological, but it just comes off as a snooze fest to me. I don't know. So, if you want to, check out Wendigo. If you want to, check out The Last Winter. It's definitely a better film than this, in my opinion. And don't forget to check out Joe's review. He was probably about as enthusiastic as I was about this film. But... Check out his review and see what he picks as a recommendation. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.